Hello folks, uh, welcome to the show. My name is Lefaria. Welcome to the first video in the Quake Life Basics series. I thought this might be a good idea to um, cover this in a video form uh, because Quake Life is coming to Steam or is on, on uh, Steam at the moment this video is released. And so a bunch of new players will be uh, joining the game and might not be familiar with the basics of uh, movement and such and I would like to do a video series on that. Um, in the first video we're gonna um, cover a very basic technique that uh, most newer players have problems with which is a strafe jumping. Now keep in mind I am not the best Quake Live player and I do not um, fully perfectly perform this technique but um, I think I know enough uh, to to pull it off to a decent level and especially to um, teach the the basics of it to um, to a new player. So here we go. What is what is strafe jumping? Well, um, Quake Live is or any Quake uh, game in that matter is a lot about uh, two things, which is speed and precision. Now, um, speed, for example. Um, Comes, comes down to getting around the map quickly, which is fairly trivial. But uh, why is that important? Well, you can um, think of many uh, of the Quake Live game modes uh, and can easily see why moving around the map uh, quickly gives you an advantage. You might even, uh, you might, for example, uh, think of game modes like Capture the Flag CTF, uh, where it is where you can, uh, if you can move around the map um, very quickly there, then uh, you can like um, move to ca move to the the enemy flag, move around the enemy base more quickly, uh, get to the flag quicker, get and then return to your base um, a lot quicker, so you can uh, actually score points fairly well. And if you're faster than your opponent, then they will have a, a, a hard time dealing with you. Or in uh, a game like uh, in a mo mode like duel, um, you will want to get to the the key major items like armor pickups and mega health um, fairly fast so you can actually control uh, the spawn of that so um, yeah that, that gives you an advantage there um, in general being able to navigate the map quicker um, just helps you get to key positions on the map um, faster than your opponent and get map control from that better map control and better item control and that basically turns into a very advantageous position so so far for that um, in a recent patch its software has actually um, updated the movement engine a little bit to uh, so far that you can actually gain some speed while just simply um, jumping and you can hold the uh, your jump button um, uh, down so you can jump continuously but uh, if you know proper strafe jumping you will always have an advantage over your opponent who does not uh, so that doesn't change anything in, the, in that regard now without further ado um, what is strafe jumping all about you see in the top right corner I have um, put a virtual keyboard where you can see my uh, key presses that I'm doing you can see that and even my mouse so I have um, jumping set on the right mouse button is something that you all should do if you want to master this technique it's a lot easier that way so and um, in the bottom right corner you will see a speedometer uh, where you can see my current speed now uh, if you pay attention to the speedometer you can see that uh, normal running speed uh, if I just run forward is mostly capped at like 320 um, and that is that is a an, like an abstract unit I think it's UPS just units per second so that's very vague but so you, just so you have a reference point and now how the uh, quake movement engine works is if you um, jump continuously your character will actually move uh, at the same speed and um, uh, in the same direction, no matter which, uh, no matter what you do uh, with your keys, even if you let go of the the keyboard. So I'm going to demonstrate that. See, it just keeps the um, direction that you were facing, and 
Um, yeah, it keeps the speed as well. So um, I actually wanted to show this, um, the basics of the technique on another map, which is uh, called Raz Train or something like that. You can um, clearly, uh, you can easily find it if you Google for, I think, Raz Train underscore, and no, Raz Train QL underscore beta three. Um, but for some reason, I cannot load up this map at the time being for whatever reasons. I think they have might have changed something like the how the map folder works or something. So I cannot. Um, this this map basically features like a very long stretch of just a straight uh, corridor where you can practice this. So uh, so this map will will have to do. This is the by the way. This is the um, strafe jumping training map. You can find that. If you go in the main menu, uh, you click on that little cog wheel and you um, press training and you select uh, gaining speed or whatever that is. So, um, yeah, as I said, uh, if you jump, um, the the uh, the game keeps your current speed and your current direction. Now, what you may have noticed so far, when I uh, turn the mouse, I get a slight speed boost. Now, you can, you can see that here if I turn the mouse very quickly quickly I can almost go up to like 400 400 UPS I hope this doesn't make you nauseous so and um, this is further advanced when I press the strafe keys which is uh, A or D and you can see that goes to like 350 360 peak and now I could use these both both of these techniques uh, to combine these into a um, into a uh, more more intricate movement pattern like this. Yeah, you can see I get a lot of a lot more speed than 320 through that. Now, uh, as I said, when you jump, it keeps the current direction and the current speed. So so you can actually use this technique. Um, to to gain speed while you jump. This looks a bit like this. Yeah, you see, I jump forward and I press the strafe key to let's say left and I move the mouse to a in a uh, very smooth and subtle movement to the left side and then before I hit the ground again um, I sent, try to center the mouse to this to the direction in which I want to go and then immediately jump again and do the same thing to the right side um, I will provide slow mo slow motion um, uh, recordings or footage for that so you can um, actually see a more detailed um, impression of that so let's do that again you just yeah you very subtly move the mouse to the side it's a very very smooth movement that, that's something that new players have a lot of problems with um, to get the, the mouse movement right that takes some practice admittedly but uh, eventually you will get the hang of it it's not that that difficult now you might have seen if you watch the speedometer at the bottom, I easily got up to like 500 in this short stretch of the uh, of a way, in this short short distance. And um, you might imagine that uh, adds up to a lot more if I uh, go for a, a longer uh, on a longer distance. So um, here are actually some um, some pits that you can jump over. This uh, can be done with a normal jump. This requires a slight strafe jump, and there's a slightly bigger strafe jump. There you go. That's the basic one. This one's uh, mostly about uh, precision. We will get to that in a minute. But uh, what's actually possible is to do this in one uh, swift run, which I will show you now, just so, so you see what uh, how quickly that speed adds up. So here we go. So yeah, that was almost like 750 if you 
uh, have seen that. And you might have seen um, to adjust the uh, direction in which you're going. Maybe you want to go uh, like a curved pattern. You can um, strafe uh, in the same direction multiple times like this. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. And as I said, this here requires more or less just more precise movement. Um, so here you do just strafe jumping in here like uh, two pillars that you have to land on. So that's not very difficult if you get the hang of it just to do it continuously. So this uh, third section here uh, features something that the RAS train map has as well, which is so-called strafe pads, like these little little pads uh, that you can jump over. And that um, that teaches you a lot of precision while while um, doing the uh, strafe jumping. Don't uh, don't get too frustrated when you can't do it right away. As I said, it takes some practice, but it, uh, it once you get the hang of it, it's fairly intuitive. So just just practice this for a for a bunch, and and you should be fine. So here we go. So yeah, as you, you might have seen, um, I centered my mouse cursor or my crosshairs um, in the direction that I wanted to go just before I landed. You have to do that fairly quickly, but you can get the hang of that very, uh, very quickly. So um, strafing backwards, by the way, is a thing that you can do. Uh, you just have to press the opposite strafe key of the direction that you move your mouse cursor in. But uh, if you if you practice that a bit, that's uh, fairly easy as well. The only only thing that makes that a little more challenging is, of course, you can't see where you're going. But um, if you try it out, it's actually not that hard. So here we go. Oops. Okay. So not that easy after all. So it takes a little bit of more uh, coordination, but uh, it's fairly easy to pull off as well. So here is a a bit of a longer corridor, so you just you can get, gain some momentum. Um, and here it is. Um, it's fairly important that you um, get as close to the pit as possible before you jump off, and you need at least like 600 UPS to get um, to get over. So here we go. Yeah, see, I fucked up there. Uh, what happened is I, I pressed the strafe key too too early and, and drifted off to the side. So, yeah, that's more like it. See, and uh, this is something that you can't do with strafe jumping alone. We will have to discuss another technique for that. Uh, but that's um, that is uh, some subject of another video that I'm gonna do. So so far for that 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 was the strafe jumping tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you uh, like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and pa pass this video around to anyone who might be interested. Maybe. So so far, um, I hope you enjoyed it. My name has been Lafaria. Practice and have fun. See you later. Bye.